Square Enix's NFT-friendly CEO is stepping down, but it may not impact the firm's NFT plans, while Disney-backed Bear Up Studios' first NFT drop sold out ahead of its upcoming RPG game. Cropopolis, the NFT-affiliated cartoon series from Rick and Morty co-creator Dan Harmon has been renewed for a third season by Fox, despite season one not even airing yet. The Cropopolis team announced the renewal via Twitter in March. 2. And emphasized that NFT holders can still engage with the show before it airs. Speaking to Deadline on March. 2. Michael Thorne, Fox's president of scripted programming noted that we're so bullish about the work that we want to support and its ability to find an audience and succeed, as he emphasized his faith in Harmon. While a third season order is atypical, it was a no-brainer for us with Cropopolis, he added. Cropopolis is an animated comedy set in ancient Greece that follows a flawed family of humans, gods and monsters that try to run one of the world's first cities without killing each other. The case includes some big names such as Richard Ayode, Matt Berry, Pam Murphy, Duncan Trussell and Hannah Waddingham. The series is produced by Fox Core NFT firm Blockchain Creative Labs, which also provided the NFT-related elements for the show. The NFTs themselves are called crap chickens and depict cartoon chicken avatars in the same style of art as the show. There are 10,420 tokens in total, with some still up for mint at 0.18 Ether, ETH. Holders are given exclusive access to experiences, content, rewards and voting rights on certain aspects of the show. Square Enix's NFT-friendly CEO Yosuke Matsuda is stepping down after nearly 10 years at the helm of the firm behind the fantasy franchise. In a March notification of company changes, Square Enix outlined that Takashi Kiru will take over the role of CEO from Matsuda. The move won't officially be finalized until an annual shareholders meeting in May however. While Web3 and NFTs weren't referenced explicitly in the notification, the firm did indicate that it is still looking to push on with new tech integrations, suggesting its blockchain-related plans may remain unhindered. Under the rapid change of business environment surrounding the entertainment industry, the proposed change is intended to reshape the management team with the goal of adopting ever-evolving technological innovations and maximizing on the creativity of the company's group, the filing red. During his time at Square Enix, Matsuda outlined bullish sentiments on Web3 gaming on several occasions. In a New Year's letter from January 1 in particular, Matsuda emphasized Square Enix had devoted aggressive investment and business development efforts towards the space in 2022 and would continue to do so in 2023. Following the excitement and exhilaration that surrounded NFTs and the metaverse in 2021, 2022 was a year of great volatility in the blockchain-related space, he mentioned in the note, adding that, however, if this proves to have been a step in a process that leads to the creation of rules and a more transparent business environment, it will definitely have been for the good of the growth of blockchain entertainment. Under Mastuda's leadership, Square Enix rolled out tokenized Final Fantasy character collectibles in July 2022 and partnered with the Oasis blockchain gaming project in September. In December, the firm also invested $52.7 million into mobile game developer Gumi Games to help develop mobile-based play-to-earn titles. Multi-chain NFT marketplace Magic Eden has launched a Mint Madness campaign that offers free access or free mints to 13 Web3 games in March. Mint Madness went live on March. 3. And the name is a nod to the famous NCAA college basketball tournament dubbed March Madness which sees roughly 67 basketball games crammed into the month. The blockchain games are spread across Polygon, Ethereum and Solana with 9, 3 and 1 apiece respectively. Magic Eden is also offering a 20,000 Polygon, Matic, prize pool worth roughly $23,200. The prizes will go to the top 10 traders of the NFTs related to 9 of the new games based on Polygon, with the top prize fetching 4,500 Matic, $5,220. The full list of available games during the promo includes Planet Mojo, Metastar Strikers, Alaska Gold Rush, Shrapnel, Petobots, Blast Royal, Rogue Nation, Tearing Spaces, Freckle Trivia, Realm Hunter, Legendary, Heroes Unchained, Shrapnel, and Papu Superstars. Nine-time Emmy Award-winning, Disney-backed Bearbub Studios sold out its first collection of 8,888 NFTs in just nine hours after launch on March.
2. The cartoon avatar focus drop is called Momoguro and is tied to an upcoming role-playing RPG game on layer 2 Ethereum scaling solution, Immutable X. The game itself has breeding elements, along with quests in a world named Uno Plane, with NFTs being a key part of the gaming experience. According to data from CryptoSlam, the NFTs have generated $8.1 million worth of secondary sales to date, with $7.6 million of that coming on the day of launch. Layer 1 Ethereum Virtual Machine EVM, Blockchain Flare welcomed its first NFT platform, after Sparkles went live on March. 2. The platform is set to hone in on the interoperability of native Flare protocols to increase use cases for NFT utility. On March 1. Trading platform Robinhood launched its Web3 wallet on Apple's App Store, becoming available to iOS users in over 130 countries.